everyone. So today we are going to be talking about G-Dragon officially leaving YG Entertainment. He is now in a company called Galaxy Corporation. We're going to talk about the statements that both companies released, as well as the winners of the Asia Artist Awards. And of course, we got to talk about EXO's 10-year-old song is charting, which it proves my point. That music doesn't have an expiration date. And last but certainly not least, Pledis will be debuting a brand new boy group. This is their first boy group since 17. And with all that being said, let's talk about it. All right, so I was gonna start talking about the Asia Artist Awards, but as I'm recording this, the news just broke that G-Dragon has officially signed with a new company and they released a statement and whatnot. So we're gonna check that out right now. I haven't even read the article yet. So on December 20th, I am reading an article on Soompi, by the way, YG Entertainment, they released a statement saying, this is YG Entertainment. G Dragon was one of the representative artists of our agency and all the time together with him since his debut with Big Bang in 2006 has been an honor. We sincerely wish G-Dragon success on his new start. We ask fans for lots of encouragement and support. Thank you. That is an extremely short statement for someone who has been with the company since 2006. He practically, well, G-Dragon and, and Big Bang, they practically built YG. YG would not be what it is, or at least what it was, without him and Big Bang. So, I mean... I don't know. I think YG should have given him like a going away party or they should have made like a, a montage video of all of his success and stuff, but whatever. Again, I'm not part of YG. YG is not my problem. They mention G-Dragon's contract with YG Entertainment expired in June earlier this year. At the time, YG Entertainment shared an update on his contract status sta stating that although their exclusive contract with G-Dragon expired, uh, they are collaborating with him through a separate contract for his other activities such as advertisement and more. So I'm assuming now he's really not part of the company anymore. Okay, so at the press conference, director Jo Sung-hae of Galaxy Corporation officially announced uh, Galaxy, he said, uh, Galaxy Corporation and artist G-Dragon signed an exclusive contract. Artist Kwon Ji-young um, and Galaxy, who are not just a relationship of an artist and an agency, but a relationship of partners and companions, uh, will continue to take on challenges that have never been done. Oh, okay. Uh, and could not be done in the world. Moreover, in order to take a path that others have not taken, we will bridge each other's gap and show not only the side that Kwon Ji Young uh, has shown so far, but also the side that he has not shown before. I'm kind of curious about take on challenges that have never been done and could not be be done in the world the only thing that i'm thinking about is top going to the moon um <laughs> i mean if g dragon could top that i mean go for it you know aim for the moon i guess but i'm very curious what they mean by that continuing on uh regarding the reason for the delay in announcing the signing of an exclusive contract director jo sung hae said we were waiting for G-Dragon's former agency's position. Thankfully, yesterday, his former agency released a statement wishing blessings to Kwon Ji-young, uh, his future. And we also express our sincere gratitude to YG Entertainment. Thanks to YG, the Kwon Ji-young of today exists. And also, thanks to G-Dragon, that's why YG exists. Okay, so it, it goes both ways. Uh, Galaxy will do our best to continue the path of glory that YG and G-Dragon have walked without forgetting. And then they say G-Dragon will make a comeback in 2024. So, I mean, I'm sure everyone is going to be looking forward to G-Dragon's comeback. I mean, Taeyang, he had his comeback this year. Yeah, we just got to see what happens, what he'll do with this, with Galaxy Corporation. Um... And I mean, it seems like him leaving YG, it seems pretty good on both sides. It doesn't seem like there's beef. I mean, unless there is beef behind the scenes and they're just, you know, being nice about it in public. 
But anyway, I, I I believe that they they parted ways peacefully. Okay, so in addition, uh, during Galaxy Corporation's press conference, uh, the director Oh Hee Young he read a handwritten letter that G Dragon wrote for the press, um, and it is it's kind of a long letter, so I won't read it all here. I will link it for you all so you guys could read it because it is a wonderful letter. But there's a specific section of this letter that really stood out to me. And he wrote, I plan to work actively to eradicate and stamp out drugs. I want to share the opportunity with many people who did not receive the opportunity for treatment. Furthermore, I want to act as a system to protect those who don't have strength by their side as someone's older brother, sibling, and peer so that the unfair events that weak people experience are not repeated. I decided to make a foundation to take on this activity sincerely and continuously. The foundation will stand by the sides of those who were harmed and pained by our world's prejudice and unfairness, and we hope to create a society where everyone lives together while being treated equally and fairly respected. Through music and artistic activities that artist Kwon Ji Young and fans like, we will resolve societal issues such as drug eradication, inequality, and injustice, and while giving opportunities by supporting artists who did not have the opportunity. I plan on training future generations who will do the same work as me. If the foundation sprouts the seed to these activities, we can undertake campaigns for peace and unbiased earth campaigns with many great peer artists and fans who empathize with the meaningful activity. And I think we can create a dream of a world without prejudice that is in harmony with diversity. And there's a lot more that he said in his letter, and I highly recommend you guys read it uh, for yourselves. But all I got to say is G-Dragon, bravo, bravo. This is how a platform is properly used. I have so much respect for G-Dragon and I hope that he will lead a new movement for idols and artists to be more involved in important issues. And once again, bravo to G-Dragon. I cannot wait to see what he does in 2024. I'm sure his comeback is going to be so strong and especially with this new foundation that he's working on. I mean... 2024 seems like it is going to be his year and I can't wait. All right, so moving on to the next topic, the Asia Artist Awards. I was thinking about doing a vid a separate video just recapping the award show kind of like what I did with Mamas and MMAs, but I feel like that would be an extremely long video and to be honest, I haven't finished watching all of the performances yet. There's a lot and I, I heard that the award show was like over six hours long. I didn't see it live, obviously. Um, I'm just watching, you know, the clips that they post on YouTube and whatnot. Let's talk about the awards given out specifically. So once again, because I didn't see it live, I have no idea how the general public's reaction was to the awards that were given and some performances, et cetera, et cetera. And also, quick disclaimer, I am not hugely familiar with K-dramas. Uh, I have seen some K-dramas, obviously, and I'm still in the process of watching more and whatnot. But just letting you know, I'm not 100% familiar. But there are some actors here that got awards that I am actually familiar with their work. So yeah. So I have no idea which award was given out first. I don't know the order or the schedule of the night. Let's start off with <laughs> Best Artist. Uh, singer. Uh, this award went to Actong musician Itzy, Ive, Le Seraphim, SB19, and The Boys, which by the way, I did film my reaction to The Boys' uh, recent comeback for their song Listen Up, but I feel like it's already too late to upload my reaction to their music video because their comeback was a couple of weeks ago. Let me know if you guys still want to see my reaction to it. I absolutely loved, loved their comeback. Itzy did perform. It was just four members and their performance was amazing. I really enjoyed their performance, especially for Killshot. And Killshot is one of my favorite Itzy B-side tracks. And then they also performed Cake, which the song has been growing on me. Uh, but nonetheless, the girls did an amazing job on stage. Can't wait for their comeback. All right, next up for best artist actor is Kim Ji-hoon, uh, Kim son -woo. Uh, Sakagu Sakaguchi Kentaro. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. Um, so Jihoon, he is currently in the show Death's Game 
along with Siwon from Super Junior. I am I really want to watch that show. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I know it just recently premiered. I do plan on watching it. Um, and he was also in Ballerina. One of my favorite shows, Flower of Evil. I saw that show. It is so good. He was brilliant. And also he's been on Money Heist and a lot more. And Kim Sonu, he was in the drama Startup and Hometown Cha Cha Cha. He was recently in The Childe or The Childe and one of my favorite variety shows, Two Days and One Night. Absolutely love that show. And Sakaguchi Kantaro, uh, he was in Japan, The Price of Wishes, The Last 10 Years, uh, Hell Dogs, Dr. Chocolate, and more. So the award for best actor went to An Hyosup. Uh, he was in Business Proposal, Dr. Romantic, A Time Called You, Lovers of the Red Sky, Abyss, and more. Next up to receive that award was also Kim Sejung. Uh, she was in Business Proposal, The, Unca the Uncanny Counter, and she was also in the group IY and Gukudan. Uh, next up, Lee Dong Lee Dong Hui, uh, who was in Big Bear Reply, uh, 1988, Doctor Chun, and Lost Ta Talisman, um, and Lee Jun Hyuk, who was in 1212 The Day, The Roundup, No Way Out, and uh, Between Greetings, Mercy for None, Vigilante, Our Beloved Summer, and more. And Melai Contiveros, who is a Filipino actress. Uh, she was in It's Your Lucky Day, Ma'am Chief, Shakedown, In Seoul, and more. Best acting performance went to Kim Youngde, uh, who was in Moon in the Day, The Forbidden Marriage, Shooting Stars, Penthouse, etc., etc. Uh, you Kisses Lee Jun Young. He was in Brave Citizen, Mask Girl, Love and Leashes, and Imitation, and more. Moon Ga Young, who was in True Beauty, The Interest of Love, and so much more. And of course, the one and only, our leader extraordinaire, Exos Suho. Uh, he was in Behind Your Touch, How Are You Bred, but I think he got this award for Behind Your Touch. And yes, I'm happy Suho was there. I'm happy Suho got an award. Of course, I'm being extremely biased because I love Exo so much. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy for him. Also, he did the first No Challenge, which we will be talking about in a little bit. So best performance went to La Seraphim. Best musician went to Card, Kwon Unbi, uh, Sak Sakurasaka46, <laughs> Stacy, and Zero Base One. I am happy to see Card receiving an award. Um, every time I see the category best musician, I'm not gonna lie, I always think it should go to a band. Um, but you know what? Singers are are musicians as well. Their voice is an instrument. But uh, but yeah, huge congrats to all of them. I definitely would have liked to see some bands uh, win some awards. All right, so for top of K-pop record award, it went to JYJ's Kim Jae-jung. AKA the OG visual of K-pop. Um, so I'm currently watching Super Junior's Explorers of the Human Body. And I recently got to the episode where TVXQ, they join Super Junior and Jejung is in it. And it's such a treat to see him there, see him so young and whatnot. And actually a year or two ago, I just went down the rabbit hole of his music and his content. So I'm really happy that he's getting recognized for his work. Okay, next up is Fabulous Award. I don't necessarily know the reason for this award. Is it like your fashion sense? Is it just because you're just a fabulous person like yes everyone that got this award i assume that they are quite fabulous like stray kids they are a fabulous group um but anyway so this award went to <laughs> daniel padilla Catherine bernardo lim young wung new jeans and stray kids so i don't know anything about daniel and Catherine. didn't know anything about them until when the news of their breakup happened my entire feed was flooded with Daniel and Catherine drama. So basically they are the it couple, or at least they were in the Philippines. And I don't know anything about them, but the whole thing about their breakup and just how many people were rooting for them. And now certain things are coming up or people are realizing certain things about what either Daniel did or she did. I don't, I don't know really what's going on or what really happened. But you all, 
the tea. The tea is so interesting. Like, again, I, my knowledge of them is very limited, but I am fully invested. So if anybody knows what, what happened, what's what's happening, um, please share it with me because I, I want to know. I want to know the tea between Daniel and Catherine because apparently they were together for so many years and I don't know, but I'm fully invested now. So the award for best creator went to Sriracha, Bangchan, Han, and Changbin. And this was very well deserved. Uh, they produced their own songs and congrats to Sriracha. I'm happy that they got this award. So Scene Stealer Award went to Jung Sung Il and he was in The Glory, Bad and Crazy, which I started watching, um, Our Blues, and so much more. So the award for best choice went to Ben and Ben, Boy Next Door, Din Din, Dreamcatcher, Kang Daniel, JYJ's, Kim Jae Jung, uh, Lee Young Ji, Lim Young Wung, New Jeans, and Mix, and, and Team. My ult of ults, one of my ults, because I got a couple of ults, got this award. And it's Kang Daniel, so of course I'm beyond excited for him. And also he was hosting. He was one of the hosts of the night. And of course, it makes me extremely happy that he got an award. I mean, I personally think his comeback for SOS is a cinematic masterpiece and it deserved a lot more recognition. You all, if you haven't seen Kang Daniel's music video for SOS, do it right now. Pause this video, pause it go check out his music video and then come back and then comment and let me know how amazing it was. Yeah. So moving on, for best new artist, this award went to Zero Base One. At this point, I don't think anybody's surprised. I think everyone, I think everyone can safely predict Zero Base One will win the majority of the rookie awards. The awards for rookies. I mean, they're a solid team. Okay, so best new actor went to Lee Eun-sam, who is in All of Us Are Dead, Cheer Up, The Red Sleeve, and more. And Moon Sang-min, who is in Under the Queen's Umbrella, Duty After School, My Name, and more. So congratulations to them. Um, so Asia Celebrity Award went to Ives Jung Won-young, I don't know why it went only specifically to her and not Ive. Okay, interesting. The award also went to Kim Sonu, um, La Seraphim, New Jeans, and Sakaguchi Kentaro. Um, again, I don't know why Won Young got this award, just her and not the group. Um, I mean, she probably is doing other things, other solo activities. I'm not fully aware of what I've necessarily do or what each member does. I mean, I do know that she was one of the hosts of the night and she previously hosted another thing or at, right afterwards she hosted, she hosted like two events back to back. Um, so I, all I know is that she is booked and busy. So the next award is Emo emotive Award. This award went to Boy Next Door, One S, Exo, Suho, and, and Team. Uh, I am super happy to see Oneus here. Oneus got an award because Oneus is the very first K-pop group I ever witnessed debut. So it makes me happy to see them get an award. And of course, Suho and and team, which I still have to dive deep and check out their content and whatnot because one of my biases from Island K, he is an and team. I've been rooting for him since day one. So yeah, I definitely will do a whole marathon on and team at some point. And also congratulations to Boy Next Door. Next up is Hot Trend Award. And it was given to An Hyosup, 2 PMs, Lee Juno, uh, Lim Young Wung, New Jeans, and SB19. Gotta give a huge shout out to Juno. You all know, or maybe you don't. I love 2PM. He's one of my biases in 2PM, so I'm really happy that he got this award. So next up is AAA Icon Award, and this was given to Cha Juyang, Kepler, and Mix, and Tempest. I'm happy to see Tempest get an award here. Next up is AAA Popularity Award, and it was given to Kim Sejung, 2PM's Lee Juno, Lim Young Wung, and Sak. Sakura Saka 46. New Wave Award was given to Ash Island, DKZ's Jechang Kingdom, and Yao Chen. I'm happy to see Kingdom here. Next up is AAA Potential Award. 
I'm kind of confused about this category. So if anybody can give me some reason <laughs> as to why they have a potential award, please let me know. Because it kind of sounds like we're giving this award to you because you have potential to be great. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But okay. You know what? It's fine. More people get awards and I'm happy about that. The groups that got this award... ATBO, Lapalus, uh, Paul Blanco, and Yu Sunu. Next up is AAA Focus Award, and it was given to An Donggu, Horizon, Lunate, The Boys, Young Hoon. Um, and yeah, so An Donggu uh, was in See You in My 19th Life, Our Beloved Summer, The Law Cafe. Horizon is a South Korea based Filipino boy band. And Lunate is a boy group from Fantasio. So Horizon and Lunate, they debuted uh, in 2023. So best producer, this award was given to So Hyunju. Actor of the year was given to one of my 2 p.m. biases, Juno. Um, again, I'm happy to see Juno get recognized for his work. I, I'm happy for this era for Juno. He's he's had a great couple of years. Um, so the Desang for Singer of the Year went to none other than New Jeans. And I did watch their performance. And I gotta say, their performance in AAA is so much better. So much better than their performance in MMAs. Next up, the Desang for album of the year was given to 17 so 17 has gotten two of their songs for album of the year so i'm really excited I, I kept saying and i'm gonna keep saying it 2023 was the year is the year for 17 i want them to take home all the awards you know and i want them to continue taking home awards you know because 17 they've been working hard all these years and yeah okay so the this song for song of the year is new jeans ditto Ditto has been taking home a lot of awards. If we had to pick between a New Jeans song, I would pick Super Shy over Ditto. But that's just me. So the Desang for Stage of the Year went to Stray Kids. Uh, the Desang for Performance of the Year went to 17's BSS. You all, you all. Their performance is happiness. Happiness. If you're feeling down or sad just just watch their performance, you all. It was one of the funnest performances I have seen this year. I mean, DK, Songkwang, and Hoshi, they put on such a show. So the Desang for Phantom of the Year went to Lim Yongwoon. Is anyone surprised? No, because he probably has the best fandom in the world right now. I mean, you can't you can't compete with his fandom. His fandom are so dedicated. I mean, Props to them. I don't know what his fandom name is called, but props props to them. And I think every fandom, at least in K-pop, can acknowledge that when Lim Young-woon has a comeback, it's all hands are on deck because most likely all the awards will, will go to him. But anyway, that is it for the Asia Artist Awards 2023 recap. Let me know which groups and artists you were rooting for. If you saw the performances, which ones were your favorites? Again, there's I, I only I literally only saw like two or three performances. I still have to watch all of them, especially Kang Daniels. So I will. All right, so moving on, EXO and their song, First Snow, which is pretty much a 10-year-old song, has been charting. It is literally Korea's All I Want for Christmas. It's Korea's Mariah Carey, except EXO probably has way more hits. So basically, this song started trending because somebody posted a dance challenge video online, and then it just went viral, and everyone's been doing the dance challenge and it's been going on for about a week now and a lot of people have been asking exo will they do the dance challenge i mean the song is charting the challenge is is you know a huge trend and where is exo what are they doing lay was the first one to do the challenge and then sehun so my first two exo biases they did it um and that makes me really happy. <laughs> um, and it's also bittersweet because, you know, we all know Sehun is going to the military. Uh, by the time this video is up, I think he would have already enlisted in the military. Mm. But the good news is that this is the last EXO member to enlist. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, CBX, they surprised us all 
by doing the challenge. So Chen, Baekhyun, and Shuman, they did the first snow challenge and it just really warmed my heart and hopefully we got a CBX comeback soon. We do know that Baekhyun is going to have his, his solo comeback, so I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, the point is that trio, it just it made me so happy. And then <laughs> Suho did his challenge and then Chenyeol did his challenge. And it, it just, so they all decided to post it um, on the same day. So I don't know if that was intentional or they just decided to randomly film. Like probably Suho and Chenyeol, they saw CBX do it. And then they're like, okay, let's do it. And I've been seeing a lot of memes about it. And it just makes me so happy that, you know, they participated in it. There is something that I want to briefly mention. I know that there are people that were trying to pressure EXO to do the first no challenge or or they started doubting EXO, like where are they, do they even care, et cetera, et cetera. I just want to say EXO doesn't owe anyone anything. I think EXO has worked really hard all these years and they're at a point in their career that they really don't have to prove anything to anyone. The fact that they each posted it I think it just shows that they genuinely wanted to do this as a gift to XOLs. But to see people doubt EXO, have you not seen all of their content? Have you not heard what they've been saying all these years? You know, they really prioritize the group and they have been all these years. And of course, now they're each focusing on their own thing. And on top of that, you got the whole SM situation going on, which we don't even know what's really going on. Of course, yes, it is very nice if they do a challenge to their song that is charting and whatnot. Um, but you know what? I'm happy that they they did it in their own timing. I am happy that people are listening to EXO's For Snow. I have, it's such a wonderful song. And I mean, we, we are kind of getting EXO content, so it's great. And speaking of EXO content, I just finished watching EXO Ladder Season 2. You all. That is, I watched basically EXO Ladder Season 2. It is the last EXO Ladder with all of the members together. Minus Lei. He he never participated in EXO Ladder, sadly. And I also finished watching EXO Ladder Season 4 a couple of months ago. But just seeing EXO Ladder Season 2, it was so much fun. And it's extremely bittersweet, especially knowing that Sehun is enlisting and we're not going to get... EXO content as a whole group for a while, you know, but I am looking forward to when Kai and Sehun, they come back from the military and EXO can hopefully do an EXO Ladder Season 5, maybe. But yeah, I highly recommend EXO Ladder Season 4 and Season 2. It's fantastic. My full reaction to all the episodes, it's up on Patreon. But yeah, definitely recommend it. It's such a great show. Moving on, Pletus's new boy group. So this is their first boy group since 17 and before 17 it was newest. So does Pledis have experience with boy groups? No. At least not a lot. Am I still upset at Pledis because of, you know, what happened with newest? You bet I am. I I'm being cautiously optimistic. You know, that's been my saying for these last couple of days. So basically, Pledis, they released a short 30 second teaser video um, announcing the new group. And um, basically, the name is TWS, but in Korean, I believe it's pronounced like twice. Twice? It, it kind of, to me, it sounds like twice, but I know it's not twice. I don't know how they're going to work with that. But anyway. Again, in my ears, it sounds like twice. So basically, their name stands for 24-7 with us. My only concern with this name, 24-7 with us, I hope fans or the more, the harder fans, <laughs> you know, um, I hope that they don't assume that this means that this group is available 24-7. So just like with any new group, I am very curious about their concept, especially because Nuist and Seventeen are completely different groups. But anyway, even though I am excited to see a new boy group from Pledis, I can't help but think about Pristin, obviously Nuist, Form is Nine, you know? So 
Obviously, there's definitely a lot of buzz with this new group, and there's no doubt when they debut, everyone's going to have their eyes on them, for sure. I just hope that Pletus is able to properly promote and properly manage this group. I will say that I am happy that for the most part, Pledis has focused a lot of their time on 17. Now, sadly, I can't say the same thing about their girl groups, though. Again, they deserved better, just like newest. Um, but at least I'm happy that Pledis, when it comes to boy groups, they primarily focused on 17, kind of like Big Hit when they focused on BTS for so long until they were comfortable enough or prepared to debut TXT. Um, same thing for KQ Entertainment, focusing on ATs until they were solid enough to debut Zykers. Definitely for sure, Pledis is in a much better position now than they were 10 years ago. For sure, no doubt about it. So Pledis did confirm that this group, they will be debuting in the first quarter of 2024. But overall, I am looking forward to this group. I'm really excited. Um, my only concern is for the company. That's my main concern is the company, not the group. Again, I'm sure these guys are extremely talented and they deserve to debut. Um, I just want Pledis to make sure that they are promoting and managing this group right. So with all that being said, that is it for today. Thank you so very much for watching and listening. I hope you have a lovely, fantastic day, and I will talk to you all next time. Bye!